All right, all right. It is that time of the year again. You already know what time it is. It is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. For those of you who are watching this a day later, today is Valentine's Day. So uh, go show some love to someone. Ask that person on a date and tell them how much you care. Give them a gift. Give them a teddy bear. Because for the next two weeks, a couple of other lovers are going on the big nude boat. That's right. Topless tanning on deck, a little bit of naked paradise, if you will. And these cruises are going to be very interesting. Ahoy sailors, welcome to another day in paradise. And today we're talking about nude cruises and not just anyone, a charter nude cruise. They are celebrating their 75th anniversary of this nude cruise. And this time they extended it to two weeks. Cruisers can enjoy two weeks on the Carnival Pride with topless tanning, walking around nude on deck, and even though they do have to follow the health and safety protocols like anyone else on a cruise line, uh, this one is particularly interesting because I get a lot of questions of whether there's going to be topless tanning on another cruise line. Don't know if you heard of them, Virgin Voyages. So it definitely appears these type of cruisers are in the market for purchasing something that allows you to walk around naked. And at one point it did appear that Virgin Voyages had an FAQ section that allowed topless tanning, but anytime I go to the actual main website, it doesn't appear to be there. So we cannot confirm or deny whether or not there's topless tanning. But this is interesting to me because Carnival Cruise Line is a major cruise line. And if something as major as Carnival can go ahead and do an entire uh, group cruise or charter cruise rather for two weeks going to places like San Juan, Bon Air, uh, Curacao, uh, Colombia, these are some really cool ports. And if Virgin Voyages decided to do something as risque, depending what your perspective is, such as topless tanning in certain areas, um, this might be an excellent opportunity to look into. Now you're probably asking yourself, Griff, uh, what kind of activities are going to be on this said nude cruise? And uh, I personally don't know, but according to the article, you can also enjoy a Valentine's Day brunch. The Valentine's Day brunch is filled with jungle creature hats, such as flamingos and tigers that ties into their jungle paradise event. There's also a saint and sinners event where nude cruisers can create their own horns and halos. So that's very thematic as well. But no worries if that pushes the envelope too far for you. Uh, there are also simple events, which is just bear cruising 101, which is gonna allow first timers and newcomers who would like to experience something like this for the very first time uh, to get educated on what it's like on the website, it states the following. Our mission is to provide a relaxing, entertaining, and health-conscious vacation opportunities that offer non-threatening natural environments where the appreciation, wonder, and compatibility of nature and the unadorned human form can occur. So if this is something you're actually super interested in, feel free to click the link in the description box below. Uh, this is not an affiliate thing. You can read more on the article and you can find out how you can join this two weeks bare necessities cruise uh, maybe next year, and then you will come back to this video and let me know how it was. And if you're on this cruise right now, uh, go ahead and inform some of the people in the comments section below how it is, how it was, whether you liked it, and hey, maybe you will educate someone else. Now, before I go any further in this video, I just want to invite you guys to subscribe to the channel. We are a smaller channel, but if we do do some cruise news every now and then, and if you love cruise news, cruise talk, cruise vlogs, cruise reviews, um, that is something we do because we're looking to grow our little community in paradise. And if that's something you appreciate and you'd love to be a part of, please consider me and Alyssa as your cruise content creators and add us to your roster. Let's continue on with the video. Now, what's interesting to me is we go back to Virgin Voyages. I created a video. We talked about some of the things that you could expect on a Virgin Voyages cruise. And while I didn't talk about some of the more risque topics, which by the way, that video is gonna be coming soon. And if it is here and produced by me, you'll see it right there in that corner. But a lot of people said that cruise wasn't for them because it was too different or it was pushing the bounds or it may have been a sex cruise or a swingers cruise. And that's here nor there. I'm just saying that it definitely appears that there is a market for it. And I think Virgin Voyages could probably do very well. And while they probably wouldn't do a, a full on nude cruise unless it was chartered out, they do have new ships coming like the Valiant Lady and the Resilient Lady. And with the already sailing award-winning Scarlet Lady, it does appear that topless tanning is desired from the public. And, and while my research believes to let me know that the American market doesn't do a lot of topless tanning as a whole, other countries such as Europe do do a lot of topless tanning. And, and it certainly isn't out of the norm. 
Uh, if you're from Europe, uh, is that something that you guys do regularly? Please share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I think overall, a lot of people just wanna be educated on what to do, when to do it, and what's exactly expected. And obviously, this is a YouTube channel. I can't go filming, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but let me know what you guys think. So the question of the day is, would you go on a nude cruise? I wanna know. Um, my answer is no. I'm probably not gonna go. Alyssa, we're going on a nude cruise? No. Alyssa said we're not going on a nude cruise. So <laughs> uh, you won't see us there and you won't see any vlogs from that. But if that's something you're interested in, uh, let us know. And I don't know, I'll jump into the comment section and we'll go back and forth. But as always, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. And we'll see you guys in paradise in the next one.